Hey friends, recently I've been really inspired by Arteria Pigments, uh, specifically Pigments 2. Um, Pigments is a just another synthesizer VST plugin that you can get. Now uh, there's a hundred million different options out there. Um, I, I find the reason I wanted to do this is I, I find myself getting more and more inspired every day by this synth. Um, its strong suits are honestly its modulation and and its its sequencer is just so well thought out and it's really inspiring. Um, so. I'm going to focus just on the sequencer because I think that it's unique, and I think that it can help you make music in a unique way. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just play what I have right now. When I, when you open the, there's different tabs here, so you get a synth, effects, and sequence. This is the sound that I'm working with. Right? And when you want to use the sequencer, you have to just click on sequencer. Now what that means is all of a sudden... Whatever your you know speed of your clock is, I'm gonna put it on 130. Yeah. So now that the speed of your clock is this. It'll play based on your rate. So right. So you can make it as fast or as slow as you want. What sets this sequencer apart from other sequencers is, um, I'm just, I guess there's a lot of things. One of the main things is that you have these little this little dice thing right here, and if I turn it up, I get random notes. And I can choose to stay within a scale. Um, let's see, what's a, what's a, what's one you don't see all the time? I mean, everyone does minor stuff. So let's try Lydian instead. This is kind of like... Okay, I like where that's going. So so now that you've chose a, a scale, what you can do is you can hit regen, and it will... Uh, look at that. It just totally changed the notes. It'll just totally change the notes every single time. Now, this can be applied. What that means is that I can lock in the if I if I get a sequence that I like, I can lock it in. So try a different one. Okay. Let's just go ahead and apply that. Now do you see how the notes jumped? I clicked apply and then the notes jumped into this place. Now I can turn this all the way down and I've effectively allowed the the random software to kind of create something fun for me right so now i have okay um so now i can just go through and i mean it may seem like a pretty basic sequence at this point but now i can go through and and do the same thing to some of the other controls so octave you know i can see what kind of random results we're going to get when i do this uh regen and now you've got some different options so now we're adding complexity, so I'll apply that. Um, let's go to trig probability, because this is whether or not a note will fire, right? Right, so I'll, just, I'll apply that. Now remember, this is this is the the probability that a note will actually happen. So you might not want to have have this happen too many times, just here and there, you know. Obviously, if I turn it all the way down, a note won't happen at all. So okay, so let's go to gate length. Now this is a really this is a really this is how you get some groove going. You know, you know. When you play an instrument in real life, uh, most of the time you're not playing every single note exactly the same length. So this is going to give you a little bit of a groove, right? So let's try this now. I like the groove. I'll apply it. Maybe this one's a little long. Right, and then obviously slide. Slide's always a good time, right? All right, so now we've got, I mean, <laughs> how fun is that? With just that short amount of time, I, I use the software to, to inspire me, right? And I've made this new this new this new line right here. Now another thing that's really cool is the randomize feature 
can be controlled in such unprecedented and really awesome ways. Uh, here's another thing that you can do. So let's say you like a step. You can lock it, right? So now no matter how much random I have applied, I can lock some of these steps in. So, so that the uh, this right here, this is definitely a musical hook, right? Something that I really enjoy about this. And then this note is kind of important, I think. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll leave these two. You know, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the trig probability all the way up for these first five notes. And the last two notes as well. Okay, so now I've got these locked in. So what I can do is I can go in here and I can change a lot of these other features. So I can I can turn up the probability of randomization to occur on all these different features, right? And and what's so great, I'm gonna leave velocity out for now because it's I don't know, it's interesting what it can do. But what you can go is you can go into randomize and you can say every single half bar or every single bar we're going to regenerate another set of randomization. So what this means is that as the clock plays, this is just going to keep randomizing itself all the steps that I haven't locked in, right? So it's evolving over time, right? It's just evolving over time. How fun is that? So cool. So, so now, I mean, let's just go over some of the other things that this amazing sequencer can do. So, in, I could actually turn up. This has a swing amount. Which may not be as meaningful at 130 beats per minute. Let's try maybe like 110. In fact, let's put a beat on there for, for reference, right? So, here's, here's a beat along with it. Also hold it so I don't have to push my key down anymore. I'm gonna go an octave higher. So essentially, this this. This sequencer is really playable and in, in as much as that you can go in here and, and mess around with random, you can, you know, dynamically turn these things down and up, right? And you can get these different results that will be locked into a scale that, that you're that you're that you're basing it out of. And the way you do that is you just pick a key. Right now I'm just playing uh, you know, C three or whatever, and that's why I'm getting this this kind of sound. And I can I can also just change like the scale, you know, let's see what happens when Dorian. <laughs> So another thing I want to show is that you have this polyrhythm section and this is where man it just gets it just gets better and better and better and better. I'm going to just totally randomize let's totally randomize this just so we can work with a different musical set of things so we don't get tired of it. So I'm unlo I'm unlocking every single one of these notes and I'm going to regenerate a different melody. Let's see what we get now. <laughs> Okay, cool. So I applied that. Now we're going to take that down to zero, and now we have a new set of notes. So what I want to show is now this polyrhythm section, if I turn this on, it makes it so you can actually take each one of these, the ends of each one of these sequences, and shorten them, right? So this is, this is you know, maybe in a lot of ways a, a kind of a musically practical thing to do. So, you know, I have this set of notes right here. There's just a, a you know an E flat D sharp and a C, right? So maybe I just wanted to pick. Let's just let's just pick 
four notes to use, okay? Now, just so you know, I'm going to I'm going to reset the rest of this. If I just played this the way that it is, just go da 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 da. da. I'll turn the swing all the way down. Right? That's all it would do. It would just go up 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 like that. Now, what I can do, I mean, what's what's so interesting though is that if I have a different gate lake sequence going on, um, I turned up the random and I hit apply. Oops, I got to regen. So I've I've regenerated. Let's get something with a lot of variance. There we go. So I've regenerated a, a gate lake sequence, and I'm just going to apply it. Listen to this. Right. Listen to how much groove there, there is going on there. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot going on, and and that's 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 just really fun to me. This is. You know, I'm just using the same four notes and musically applicable things, especially in, in terms of working with songs. You want like, you know, notes in specific ranges. It almost makes sense to the to the to the mind to have the same notes, but kind of like different grooves going on with them. So, you know, I can go through here, you know, I you know, tr trig probability kind of low, but the slide, you know, probability up, let's regenerate, apply, and now we have we're gonna have this constantly evolving groove going on here. That's just from four notes, right? So, I mean, you can get even crazier with this. Let's just go ahead and get some real random results going on, okay? So I'm just going to turn a lot of these up, hit regen. I'm not going to mess with the notes, but what I'm going to show you now is that now that I've got all this new action going on, each one of these can be a different length and odd lengths too, you know what I mean? So we've got five steps, three steps you know five and and this is this is what's so fun about you know uh using a sequencer and this this is you know i discovered this kind of late in my production career i realized wow you know you can use a, this is a six track sequencer if this was in a, in a modular i would be thinking of this as there are six separate voltages going to different places right so and just listen to all these random results we're getting just four notes but each one of these different each one of these is, is kind of spitting out different information on, on lower steps. And it makes it kind of easier to edit. You know what I mean? I'm going in here and I can just like change this. And, and, and changing these things is going to have such a huge amount in the future of, of pot potential uh, results, right? If I turn the probability all the way down, that means that none of the, nothing's going to change. It's still going to sound like it's changing because each one of these is going to be repeating at different times, right? So... So in context with a beat. Okay, so another thing I want to show you is, now you're, you're probably wondering, well, what about velocity? Well, at this point, velocity uh, isn't mapped to anything. This this uh, preset I made, Pidiglet Baseline, doesn't have any velocity sense set up. But the fun thing about this synthesizer is that it doesn't matter. Like, in a lot of ways, it... Anything can be mapped really to anything in terms of modulation. So you'll notice that there's a little velocity. As I play this, you can watch the velocity voltage move up and down, right? So, so I could use this to control all kinds of different stuff. So maybe I'll, I'll use it to control the wavetable position. There are two ways to do this. I could click here, and I could add it this way. Um, but I've recently been preferring just to hit the plus button, and then any one of these... It's just so crazy. It's so fast to make modulation on this synth. I'm just going to turn the velocity up to 50, and then I'm going to turn this down. Now watch watch it as it goes through. So as you can see, we're kind of oscillating between the... We're moving around between the saw kind of shape and the, the square kind of shape. I could make it even more... So now I've got the whole range available to us. And that's using the sequencer's velocity output to control some other aspect of the synthesizer, right? So 
Now, if I made this random, you know, and regenerate every bar, now watch what happens. Well, let's do, let's do it even faster. Maybe regenerate every quarter bar. So we're just getting consistently random results now. So yeah, I mean, it's just so much fun. Now, I'm sure that um, many of you are wondering, well, you know, if it's a sequencer, can it do acid? Yes, it can. <laughs> here's a here's an example of just this thing just killing it in terms of an acid-based sequencer. So anyway, I, I might do more videos if you guys are interested in this. I know it's not uh, Ableton specific, but I really do like Arteria Pigments. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's really well designed, and I, I feel like it was sort of in the strange way designed for me. Um, well, anyway, like, comment, subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Uh, much love, y'all. Talk to you soon.